Hey, uh, this is Mihai. Uh, I will be showing you a very quick sketch demonstration on the Argon race car. So, um, uh, this is a sketch that I'm doing after I actually finish the 3D model. It's it's not really a shape research. Otherwise, it would have taken me <laughs> taken me a much longer time, and uh, it would have been much rougher to harder to do. So firstly, I'm um, just blocking in the main shapes of the car and the um, just trying to figure out how to put the two plasma tanks under an, a formula style uh, body. So the, the car is a formula style body. It's got a closed cockpit, which I think will come in regulations uh, sooner or later. And um, it features two main uh, plasma tanks, air plasma tanks. This is a ex very experimental uh, technology in which um, scientists are trying to use uh, to ignite air, uh, to, to ignite air and have it create thrust. Um, so they want to use it in airplanes. In airplanes, so far, um, plasma is only used for propulsion in space, but. They only use it in airplanes, and I thought, you know, why not? Just want to do a really cool um, interpretation of what a, a an air plasma race car could look like in the future. So, so here goes. So here I'm blocking in again. I've kind of blocked in the main shapes, the wheels of the car, and trying to have some semblance of uh, perspective when I'm doing it, even even though it's it's not perfect, uh, and I haven't really drawn any perspective lines. Just doing it a bit by uh, winging it, a bit by ear, as they say. Um, just blocking in the real rear wheels. So the main uh, the main proportions of the car are very similar to a to f you know a formula car. A slightly shorter wheelbase. Uh, the car is a bit stubbier, but I think it looks cool. As as today's formula cars are not that great looking, in my opinion, and I know a lot of people uh, think that too. So it was a it was a good platform to, to experiment on uh, as far as volumes are concerned so um, blocking in the just blocked in the uh, front spoiler now I'm cleaning up cleaning up the drawing a little bit because our, my lines are all over the place it's been a while since I drew I don't draw a lot anymore unfortunately I'm trying to get back trying to get that back a little bit because it's really nice to do every now and then so I'm doing the um, I'm doing uh, these wire wiring structures, which are uh, supposed to um, be a very lightweight solution that keeps the uh, the frame rigidity intact and the elements intact and attached to the frame. I think it's cool. It's used in a lot of uh, race types, not in formula types. In uh, for example, time attack is one that comes to mind, which I really love. And I think it hasn't, it still has a lot of potential. It hasn't been explored to its full potential yet. I'm blocking in the uh, the plasma tanks. They have a front air intake uh, for cooling and a rear uh, outlet for the actual thrust. I'm doing antennas and comms for the driver. And sketching the front spoiler is a scissor type spoiler. It's probably not very aerodynamic, but I just wanted to do something um, that's a bit unexpected there. Obviously, I haven't done any aero research on this car. I don't have the uh, CFD software anyway, but um, it's just um, a cool concept. It was trying to be a cool concept that just shows the, the possibility of an alternative future, uh, you know, uh, propellant solution, propulsion solution, yeah. So just doing some um, small winglets that are small winglet deflectors. They're supposed to deflect the air from the rear wheel. Wheels are very simple, <laughs> and uh, but bigger than Formula car wheels. They're quite small <laughs> nowadays. And yeah, this is about it. So hopefully uh, I'll do another another one, a uh, second part, where I'm going to block in the shadows and the volumes of the car. Stay tuned for that one. And yeah, I think this one is pretty much ready for now. Thank you and enjoy your day. Bye bye.